Welcome to Side Hustle Rules. My name is Lou Reyes, and today I'm going to be talking about an article that I read. An article I read about a photographer, a woman who started a photography business. She started it out of her dorm room in college, and she built it up into a business that today generates over $240,000 a month. And yes, I did say a month. And it's interesting. It's very interesting to me when I read this article because everything that she talks about, all the steps that she's taken to build her business are steps that I believe you could take. I know I've taken many of these steps, if not all of them. And I know a lot of successful people out there who have also taken these same steps. And I thought I would share this article with you because it's fascinating. Watch this video in its entirety. What I'm going to do is go through the article with you, and I've highlighted some key passages, key points that that are uh, that in the article that I think you really are going to want to follow, and I think you're going to want to follow these rules. But also at the very end of this video, what I've done is I've taken the key takeaways. There's about eight of them that I'd like you to really consider. If you're somebody out there who's thinking about starting a business, or maybe you've got a business already and you're just like kind of floundering, you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know what to do, you know what? Follow Caitlin. Follow what she's done. Because one thing that we do know is if you examine successful people, and if you look at all the steps that they've taken, you can learn from them. And I believe many of us out there can take those same steps to be successful too. So let's get to the article. I'm using my what I call my education mode. This is a new uh, a new uh, program that I am using on my computer so I can go ahead and just highlight articles and show them to you and highlight other information as well. So let's get to it. So number one, what we're going to start with here, and I am going to pull up the article. It says here, this 35-year-old mom built a side hustle that brings in $240,000 a month. She says, I only work four hours a day four hours a day because she's developed passive income. She took a business that she had to put a ton of energy, a ton of time into, and she took it and she just built it to the point where it generates money on its own. And we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you how she did it. Let's go to the to what I call panel number two. We're going to go down on this article. She says here, in 2008, I started a photography side hustle from my dorm room. You can see that right there. I've highlighted that for you. She says, today at 35, I'm a self-made millionaire and I run a wedding photography and education business called Caitlin James Photography. I'll put a link in the description box of this video so that you can check it out. But I just, I'm just so fascinated by what she's done at 35 years old. She's a self-made millionaire running her own wedding photography business. And how many people out there, I know some wedding photographers, I know some photographers that haven't taken these steps that unfortunately, for whatever reason, they haven't taken these steps. And you know what? Maybe if they did, maybe if they would, they could build their business as well. So third paragraph that I've highlighted. In 2022, we brought in about $240,000 a month in revenue, 80% of which I put back into the business. She says roughly $230,000 of our monthly revenue was pa passive income from online courses and training materials. So that tells me that, yeah, $10,000, maybe it's coming in from some other sources, which I'm going to be telling you about some other revenue streams. Some of it she does. Wedding. She does. She says about four weddings still a month, and that says it in the last line. I didn't highlight that, but let's go to the next the next panel here. So now, now what she says in the first year of my side hustle, I was a full time college student, but I still work forty or more hours a week. And that this tells me this woman is a hustler. She works hard. She works hard for her money. That is no doubt about it. She said I was lucky to have a great mentor. Jasmine Starr, who photographed my own wedding. And this is something that I encourage a lot of people to do. And I've done many videos, whether it's on my other channel, Over 50 TV, or here on Side Hustle Rules. Find a mentor. Find someone who you can learn from. When I started my first, very first business, I had a mentor. I had a gentleman who was a retired executive from a major automaker. And he was a very wise man with a ton of experience. And I sat down with him every single week for one to two hours. And I picked his brain. His name was Harry Farr. I've never forgotten him. 
just a just a great guy who guided me through those early stages when I was building my business, my first my first business, and even in my second business. But he helped me tremendously to take my business from nothing to millions of dollars a year in sales. So he was a great guy. So let's keep going on here. But there she says here, I was lucky to have a great mentor. And she also says, I took some online courses, I attended workshops, and I took on projects for free to build my portfolio. Two lessons here, my friends, two big lessons. She invested in herself. She took online courses. She attended workshops. She spent money on herself to learn. And I stress this all the time with a lot of folks out there. I know I'm a little bit animated today, but I'm excited because this is an article I know can help you. But I'm excited because I know that these lessons, we all can we can all use these lessons in our lives and in our business. Invest in yourself no matter what you're doing. Now, one thing she did too is she took on projects for free. And I can tell you here at Side Hustle Rules, Over 50 TV, get a lot of comments. A lot of people want to talk to me. And, you know, sometimes I hop on the phone with them. And I remember a call I took from a woman who said, you know, I was telling her, hey, sometimes you got to build your portfolio. You have no experience. You're starting out brand new. You got to do it. I'm not giving my stuff away for free. I'm not doing it. Well, you know what? She's probably still not doing it. She's still not doing her business, if, if I know that. It'd be my guess anyway. But sometimes you just got to build that portfolio up so people can trust you. Show them what you've done. Hey, this is what I've done. This is how I've been successful. This is how I've taken care of my customers. Give them a call. This is my reference. Use it. And that's what she did. That's exactly what Caitlin did. I just love what she did here. And she says here, she says, when she was taking these courses, an epiphany happened. An epiphany. What she saw was that there were not a lot of affordable online courses. So what did she do? She says, hey, I've been at this business for a few years. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to create my own course or two or three, which is what she did. And then she started building her business. She started building this online education business. And she says here, another thing that she did I thought was very, very helpful. She said through word of mouth, this is the last last uh, paragraph. She says, through word of mouth and a consistent social media presence, I grew an, aim, an email list of 7,600 photographers. This is another one of those basic lessons that I stress all the time. Build a mailing list, build it, ask for their address, send them something. I've had people say to me, you know, Lou, I don't want to send, uh, I don't want to send an email. It's, it's intrusive. It's intrusive. Send them an email. Send out a monthly update. Hey, this is what's going on with my business. I appreciate your, you know, your 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 business with me. I still I appreciate your patronage. Uh, I just want to let you know what's going on. Just send it out. Don't think it's intrusive. So let's go to the next one here. Okay, let's go to the let's go down on this in this article a bit a little bit more. So she says in November 2015, I know we're being a little bit redundant here because we're going into this article and some of it is just was already covered, but it's important. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I highlighted it. She says in November 2015, Michael Hetzer, her husband and I launched my first online training program to teach photographers how to edit and streamline their workflow. She charged $397. I was kind of blown away by this because when I started my first publication, my ad price, my basic ad price was $300, exactly 300 bucks. And I, I got that number from, from looking at what other people were charging in the newspaper industry. And I charged that for my ads and my, and my uh, monthly business to business magazine. She's charging 397. It's just very interesting to me. She said it was a price point that was far more accessible than a semester's worth of college photography classes. She says in her first course, our goal was fifteen thousand dollars in total sales, but you know what she did? She generated sixteen a hundred. Excuse me, one hundred and sixty thousand dollars the first day. She had a mailing list. She developed a mailing list. People got to know her because she consistently contacted them, and they trusted her. And she built and sold one hundred and sixty thousand dollars worth of courses. So now let's go to the next next panel here. She said, the success of my first course showed me that it was more valuable to make photography education accessible rather than just shooting weddings and continuously increasing prices. And I've worked with wedding photographers more than I can tell you. 
worked with lots of photographers over the years, especially with my publications. And whenever they shot a wedding, they would tell me, Lou, I'm working with Bridezilla and Bridezilla's mother, who is two times Broadzilla Godzilla. For you out there who are, who are brides, I apologize to you if I'm offending you, but I know how difficult it is for photographers when they're working with a, uh, a bride or the bride's mom. It's not easy. She found shooting, shooting uh, or creating online courses was far more lucrative than shooting weddings. And it was a, probably a heck of a lot easier. I'm going to go down here to the second one. If you look here, and this is my uh, second paragraph. She says, we also have a membership product called AJ, or I'm sorry, KJ All Access. She charges $29 a month. This woman is amazing. Amazing. I mean, Caitlin, what she did is she went from shooting weddings and being a photographer to offering online courses, which over the course of time, she saw that there was an opportunity there. And then what she did is she launched a membership program, which she charges $29 for. She's got all these thousands and thousands of people, folks. And now she started a membership program. And it says here, she says, these people who are members, they get to follow me as I shoot events and handle all sorts of unpredictable situations. Amazing, 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 Caitlin, what you have done. I am a big fan of, of, of you, of your, of your business. Now, here's another thing that she did, which is another revenue stream. She says, this year, 2023, as I'm assuming, because I read this article in 2023. This article actually has been in a lot of other publications as well. I've seen it, this uh, her story, rather, was covered in, in a number of publications. She says, they also co-founded the Action or Action Academy West End. And she said, we focus on equipping children ages five to eight with the tools to find, to find their unique passive passions through hands-on activities. And in the, another revenue stream, she's given back though. And I think that's so important. She's smart as heck, this, this Caitlin also. So key takeaways, Caitlin is a hustler. She's a hard, hard worker. You know, the example being she was good full, full first year of her side hustle. She was shooting weddings while she was a full time college student. You got to hustle. Number two, to build your portfolio. Sometimes you're going to take on projects for free and you're also going to offer low rates. But you got to build that portfolio if you're starting out in any business. Some of you know that. Hopefully a lot of you do. Some of them you I know don't. Caitlin also had a mentor. I had a mentor, a mentor. I know every single successful business person that I've met as a mentor over the years, one, two, three different ones. Somebody may be handling the financial end as a mentor, someone in the marketing end, someone on the overall business on building that, that infrastructure in the back room kind of stuff. You've got to have a mentor and you're going to have to invest in it. You're not going to get that person for free. You got to do it. You got to do it. That's just my recommendation. Caitlin invested in herself by taking online courses and attending workshops. Yes, yes, yes. Invest in yourself. Do whatever you got to do. We all have to do this. Everyone, you and me and everyone I know who's been successful in business has invested in their self. Caitlin created online courses. This is something, again, I'm going to go back on this and, and, and really harp on it. She went down a road. And when she's driving down that road as a wedding photographer, she happened to see hey, there's an opportunity to do something else in addition to what I'm doing. So she was generating revenue, working hard. And in the spare time, she was creating these courses. And look what she's at now, $240,000 a month, my friends. Now, she also invests 80% of her revenue. Important. I recommend it completely, strongly recommend reinvest your money. If you can do 100%, do it. If you can't, well, you know what? Do as much as you can. But the rule of thumb for me, is reinvest 75% of your revenue in the first year, minimum in the first year, and probably even into the second or third year if you really have to. But certainly in that first year, reinvest everything. I, I will say this to you is, is what I do. I invest 100% back into my business. And I know some of you out there may be saying, well, Lou, can you probably can do that. You know, not all of us can. We've got to live on, on something. Well, you know what? Yeah. But you know what? Invest all the, the revenue from your business and have another job where you're, you're, that, re, that job's paying your bills. You got to reinvest everything that you make. Also, number seven, Caitlin has a consistent social media presence, critical. 
Over 50 TV spent three years building up my viewership on Over 50 TV. Now we're building up viewership on Over 50 TV. We're also building viewership here on Side Hustle Rules. I also have my Patreon channel. That's my membership platform where I can answer questions every single week live on Over 50 TV on Patreon. So just a plug there for my myself. Number eight, Caitlin has a $29 membership product. I just mentioned the membership product, but you got to have that mailing list. You got to have that social media presence. It's so critical to have. Those are eight takeaways, key takeaways. This is a very interesting story. I believe we can do it. You can do it. I can do it. You can follow these lessons and build your business and be successful. But everything she's done, I mean, if you just, if you just, if you just did these eight things, I believe you can be successful. Maybe you don't have to do anything else. Just do these eight things. That's all I ask. Give it some thought, my friends. Got a question? Send me an email. Got a question? Make a comment. If you if you need to, I'll hop on a phone call with you. We can talk and chat at that point. All right. That's all I got for you today. If you have any questions, as I said, go ahead and contact me. As I always say, have a great day, everybody. Come on.